Nexium. 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 People are asking their doctors about it. And if you call 1 800 4 Nexium, you'll learn about a free trial offer. Today's purple pill is Nexium. Nexium, the new purple pill, is probably the prime example of how the pharmaceutical industry can, can sell anything. They can take an old drug and they can sell it as a new drug. Nexium is really the same thing as Prilosec. It's Prilosec time. Time to see your doctor about America's most prescribed acid control medicine. In the early 1990s, Prilosec burst onto the scene as an innovative prescription drug to treat heartburn. When Prilosec's maker faced the expiration of its patent, it knew it was about to lose its exclusive right to market the drug. Gene Carbona, a sales rep for Prilosec during this time, explains one way the company addressed this challenge. We were going to be losing $6 billion a year in revenue, and we knew that that was going to have a, a very strong effect on our company's bottom line. And our company had to answer to the shareholders and, and the other members. So what they did is they licensed in a drug that was uh, very, very similar, uh, being Nexium. Now the makers of Prilosec introduce their new purple pill, Nexium. There's only one specific difference. It's got one little S isomer, and other than that, it's the same exact drug. It inhibits about the same amount of acid. It's got about the same side effect profile. It's basically the same thing, and it's also purple. In the final two years of promotion, we were uh, trained on how to cannibalize our existing market share over to Nexium, even while we still had responsibility for Prilosec. Across America, doctors who specialize in acid reflux disease have switched more patients to the purple pill, Nexium, than to any other prescription of its kind. By 2004, the popular purple pill was available in three almost identical versions, but priced at vastly different amounts, ranging from $24 a month for over-the-counter Prilosec to $171 for the new prescription drug, Nexium. No amount of hard, cold facts about this drug could hold back its progress in the American marketplace. And it's a good example of how broken and corrupt our marketplace really is, because it simply started advertising to the consumer, pushing this new drug to doctors, dropping samples. It became the most advertised drug product in the United States, and it's hugely successful. And the fact that there's both an over-the-counter version of Prilosec and a generic version available makes no difference because our system has no way of shedding any light on this for the basic consumer. It's a classic campaign, uh, very successful, and there are other manufacturers that are out there that know that their products are going off shelf life and promoting not generics, but they're promoting their new branded product, which is almost the same. It's remarkable what this industry is able to do and how they're able to, uh, to create images of drugs as either being new or more effective or safer than older drugs, when all of the underlying information points totally in the opposite direction.